go into our snap. Okay, so for me, I do the same thing, right? If I want to, if I want to snap, right? Then this is a big thing. If I want to snap, I got to beat this elbow. Okay, so what does that mean for me? That means if Meyer has has elbow control and I try to snap and I can't get over this side, right? Whether he shoots or not, I can't snap because I can't get over top and I can't chase him. Okay, so I'll go punch pass just to free up this side so I can snap. Does that make sense? We're here, right? I'll go punch pass. Now I can actually snap him. I can actually snap him, right? Um, so that, that, that's really important. So once again, we're here, right? I make good contact. If he's really tight here and you want to go snap, you can do this. Now I free up this whole side, okay? And I mean, if, if, if you're good at elbow pass, you can shoot high seed, great. I usually don't, you know what I mean? Um, but it's an option, it's always an option. So now we're gonna go to our snap though. Okay, so I go punch fast and I get to here. If I can, I wanna snap Meyer through this hole over here. And think about this, right? I'm trying to bring this hip to my hip. So I wanna, right, roll my hand so hard that I'm able to snap him. That's where I wanna go. Is it always going to happen like that? Probably not. But that's my goal. Like, that's my intention. If I can work towards that, it's going to make my snap attack that much easier. Right? So we're here. We've all done steering wheel, right? Yeah. Steering wheel? Steering wheel is really hard when this hand's controlled, isn't it? I can't. It's not working. Punch pass first. Now, steering wheel. Okay, it's gonna be that much easier, I promise you. All right, so we're here. All right, make good contact. I don't care about this arm as much. Because this, this doesn't stop my rotation, this does. Okay, this doesn't stop my rotation at all. This hand does, all right? So your inside tie hand, okay? Bunch pass, now I got it. My collar hand has to turn down and out. I have to change his path, okay? If I just snap him down, he's just gonna get to my legs or I'm gonna snap him and I'm gonna be parallel with him. And it's not gonna be a good angle for me. Right, so I wanna focus on snapping him through this hole and straightening my arm, right, here. See that path? Now, once I do that and I pull really hard with my inside tie again, that's gonna complete the revolution. Right, so we're here. Boom, all right, I clear it. Now I snap Meyer's head through the hole and I pull hard here. Then I talk. Okay. Pretty easy. Clear. Now snap. Use collar. Um, it's the idea of coming all the way through. Okay, it's the idea of coming all the way through. Maybe I'm here, right? Maybe I am here. Right? And collar and inside tie on the other side. And I switch hands and snap. That's fine. Snap. I'm, I'm showing it right, so I'm trying to go slow. When I do snap, he's either gonna go down, I'm just gonna cover, or I'm gonna chase hamstring. Right? Come here, punch pass, I snap. I'll just chase his hamstring. Right? To get to my score. Pretty pretty easy. Don't go around the waist. Right? Don't go here. That's what I'm saying, right? We're here. Don't go home. No good. Okay. Or you'll just bring it out. No good, right? Snap, anytime you snap in general, chase hamstring. Hamstring, double off. Easy finish. Okay. So this works too when I'm beating inside. Okay, so Meyer beats me inside. And I'm on the outside now. How can I get back inside and hit this technique? I have to move his head off center. So sometimes I'll go thumb block. Right? I have collar and elbow here, right? I'll go thumb block here, creating this hole. So that now I can move my butt towards this hole, and I, we call this a karate chop, right? It's a gimmick, it's good. Right? It's an easy way to remember it, right? I'm blocking with my collar tie hand in his, in his trap. I'm straightening to create space. This hand is gonna rotate inside. It's probably gonna smack his, I would say, lower, lower forearm, maybe his hand. But this is not strong and it's not going to work if I don't get my butt over here. And 
chop throat hard. And now as I do that, I want to finish my rotation of my snap. So I want to go karate chop the snap, turn my hand down and finish. All right, so I'm going to do it all together now. We're here, all right, great space. Hand's going to come inside, right? I'm bringing my butt towards the hole, right? So if I post with my right hand, my butt is going to go right. Does that make sense? And my head is going to swing towards my chop. Okay, so I go inside with my left hand, my head's going to swing towards it. Right here. That's how we go. So it's, uh, it happens fast, right? It happens fast over here. Oh, right, he beat me inside this time. Partner's being a good partner, right? He beat me inside. There's no space. What can I do? Create space. And, and my head's going to be in, in, in here. My head's going to be that one, right? Meyer beat me inside. I create some space, right? Once you create space, this is kind of for your college guys, go forehead to forehead. This is too tight. As soon as I create some space, slide forehead to forehead, now the space is always there. Now you can start working this. Once again, I, I come all the way to my inside chop, my karate chop, I come all the way through and I finish my snap. All the way through, I finish my snap, chase the hamstring like we talked about. That's the one time. Relatively fast. Wrestling, he's got a tight inside tie. Alright, so I went to his ankle that time. That's fine. All right. My inside tie jump. If I win inside position, if I win inside position, and he doesn't have inside position, right? What am I going to do? Punch fast. I grab my elbow. Alright, punch fast. I'm easy. Punch fast, snap. It's going to be how hard you snap. The finish is, that's going to be on you guys. You know, chase the hamstring, finish double, finish single, whatever you feel comfortable with. But the idea of getting that elbow free and snapping and running, really, really important. Okay? Don't stay parallel. Get to an angle. Get to an angle and chase it down, score your points. Right? These are hand fighting skills. You have to be good here. If, he, if, he, if your partner wins inside position, go to your karate chop. If you win inside position, create the space, right? Punch pass, beat the elbow, and then get him, snap him through the hole, turn your hand down, and then chase your go back. Questions? A lot of detail there. We'll walk around and help you. On two, one, two.